N.C. Sinatra. Already familiar with who she is. Um, not familiar with her music. I won't lie there, but definitely know who she is. And, well, at least who she's related to. Um, uh, but, and it's so crazy because I, I never really... Um, I never really thought to listen to any of her music again, I, and it's not like I'm I'm too well versed in Frank Sinatra music. I know New York, I know My Way, and a couple of other songs, but for the most part, I, I don't really know much about Frank Sinatra and his music. But I don't know anything from Nancy Sinatra, anything. Um, so I'm really excited for this. These the song is called. Uh, these boots are made for walking, which I really, really like that title. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, to get into this, man. Of course, we got to do some research real quick just so I can get some more context to who she is and what she's all about. She's an American singer. She is the elder daughter of Frank Sinatra and Nancy Sinatra. And known for her 1965 signature hit, These Boots Are Made For Walking. Oh, so this, we're starting with the one. We're starting with her best song. Gotcha. Uh, Nancy began her career as a singer in November 1957 with an appearance on her father's ABC television variety series, The Frank Sinatra Show. But initially achieved success only in Europe and Japan. In early 1966, she had a transatlantic number one hit with These Boots Are Made For Walking. A TV promo clip from the era features Sinatra in high boots accompanied by colorful dress go-go dancers and what is now considered an iconic swinging 60s look. Um, the song was written by Lee Hazelwood, who wrote and produced most of her hits and sang with her on several duets. As with all of Sinatra's 1960s hits, Boots featured Billy Strange as an arranger and conductor. Between early 1966 and early 1968, Sinatra charted on the Billboard Hot 100 with 14 titles, 10 of which reached the top 40. In addition to These Boots Are Made For Walking, defining records during this period included Sugar Town, Love Eyes, the Transatl Transatlantic 1967 number one, Something Stupid, a duet with her father, I gotta hear that. Uh, two versions of the title song from the James Bond film, You Only Live Twice. Uh, okay, between 1964 and 1968, Sinatra appeared in several feature films co-starring with Peter Fonda in Roger Corman's biker gang movie, The Wild Angels, and alongside Elvis Presley in the musical drama Speedway. Frank and Nancy Sinatra played a fictional father and daughter in the 1965 comedy Marriage on the Rocks. All right. Uh, two children. Uh, two spouses. One died, and oh, her last husband died. Okay. Um, they say she's still active. Wow. I, I haven't heard of anything in recent years. She's from Jersey. Uh, pop, rock, country. Boots Enterprises. She had her own label. I'm going to assume Boots Enterprises was her label. But she was signed to Reprise, RCA, Private Stock, Electric, Cougar, Buena Vista, and Attack. Wow, okay, well look, we starting with the one. We starting with the and it looks like it looks like I'm about to react to the music video that they just talked about. Um 
because it's on her official YouTube page. So I'm going to assume that this is the one. Um, but man, uh, and, and all of that information seemed pretty stand. Like, I, I feel like I could have guessed a lot of that stuff. Um, but just good to kind of get a, a final confirmation on some things about her and who she was. But I'm ready to hear this, man. These boots aren't made for walking. Um, never heard of it. So we just going to hit play and see what this is all about. These boots are made for walking. Let's go. wanted to say boy she looks like her father holy Schwarzenegger I'm just sitting here looking at her and like I like I'm, I'm sitting here like I'm like yo this is Frank Sinatra's daughter and I'm sitting here looking at her face I'm like god she looks like Frank Sinatra oh but hey that's her father oh uh, but um so, at least, and again, this is just the first song, so don't, you know, I haven't heard everything from her, um, but not a vocalist. I'm not getting vocalist when I hear her. This is very, um, I, I would assume this was like 60s, oh, what year? The, did they say this was 57? No, this was 60. This is definitely 60. 65. Um, but this sounds like 60s pop. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not really um, necessarily a, a, like great vocals, even though that banjo or whatever that was, that dun, 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 like the production of this is fire. And I love the tambourine. But as for her vocal, like it's not, she's not giving me vocalists. It's just a very catchy song with a great video that I'm sure was very ahead of its time. Um, like this, I ain't gonna lie, what they wearing? Like this would be like raunchy for like today. Y'all know like today, you know, people damn near be naked in music videos. But like I could only imagine this in the 60s. This was like, oh my goodness. I mean, because Elvis shaking his hips is like 10 years before this in the 50s. So I can only imagine just shaking your hips a little bit 10 years ago to now. I mean, look at this lady in the red. I could damn near see up that shirt. Like, this is like, I can't believe this is the 60s. Like. But anyway, let's keep, let's keep going. But I do like the song. It's really, really catchy. Again, like a, just a 60s pop song, basically. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots 
are gonna walk all over you You keep playing where you shouldn't be playing And you keep thinking that you'll never get burned Ha! I just found me a brand new box of matches, yeah And what he knows you ain't had time to learn These boots are made for walking And that's just what they'll do One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you Are you ready, Boots? Start walking. I like that. Yeah, just a, a 50s, 50s uh, 60s pop. That's pretty much what this was. 60s pop. Uh, the song was written by Lee Hazelwood and recorded by American singer Nancy Sinatra. It charted January 22, 1966 and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and UK charts. Subsequently, many covers of the song have been released in a range of different styles. Metal. Oh wow, I would love to hear this in metal. Metal, pop, rock, punk rock, country, dance, and industrial. Among the more notable versions um, are the singles released by Megadeth, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Jessica Simpson. I would love to hear all three of those covers. I would love to. Uh, the song was written by Lee Hazelwood. Uh, who, who is he? Okay, gotcha. Lee Hazelwood. Um, it was inspired by a spoken line by Frank Sinatra in the comedy western film for, for Texas. They tell me them boots ain't built for walking. Nancy Sinatra's version of the song was released as a single in 1965. Uh, as the second song to be taken from her debut album Boots and was a follow up to the minor hit So Long Babe. The song became an instant success, and in late February 1966, it topped the Billboard Hot 100. In 2020, the 1965 recording of the song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. Okay, she was on Reprise when this came out. Reprise Records. Recorded in United Western Hollywood. Okay. Okay. It's giving me some minor minor information. But all right. I really like this. Again, nothing special per se. It was just, uh, oh wow, it sold 4 million uh, copies worldwide. Um, the Billy Ray Cyrus. I really want to hear that version too. Uh, but yeah, not nothing really stood out. Like nothing shocked me, nothing amazed me. It sounded like your standard pop hit. Um, very catchy. Something that really would appeal with the kids and the ladies. Um, fun, youthful, um, and just kind of just very appealing. But nothing. But again, it's not like you wouldn't classify it as like great music it was just really catchy and really fun and the music video again 
appears to be. I haven't seen a bunch of 60s music videos, but very ahead of his time. Like, you know, outside of kind of like the editing, the the standard shots that you saw in this music video, it was kind of like a lot of stuff you see in today's like hip hop videos and just videos in general, music videos in general. Um, but I liked it. I can't wait to hear more. Um, she had a two year run when she was on top of the world but a very long career so clearly she has more more songs and more things for us to check out so y'all just let me know what else from Nancy I need to check out and we definitely will check it out but a great introduction video and I'm ready to kick off my Nancy my Nancy Sinatra journey so as always like comment and subscribe I appreciate y'all for watching until next time with Nancy Sinatra Peace.